Hi, it's me again, and apparently the BBC are getting a bit complacent about the dwindling viewing numbers they're getting. Good, this kind of thing cheers me right up. Let's take a look at this story. The Public Accounts Committee found that licence fee sales have fallen by almost half a million in the past two years. <laughs> MPs have labelled the BBC complacent for its attitude towards declining audiences, with 200,000 people per year cancelling their licence fee and young people are switching to Netflix. Parliament's spending watchdog in a report published on Friday urged bosses at Broadcasting House, who are in talks with ministers over the future of the licence fee, to radically re-engineer its offer in the face of declining audience numbers. It's good, isn't it? The committee's BBC Strategic Financial Management report said that in the last half of 2017, 16 to 24 year olds were spending more time on Netflix than BBC TV and its iPlayer service. And that was in 2017. It ain't 2017 anymore. The BBC's got a call on it and Netflix is flying higher than it's ever flown. So how many 16 to 24 year olds do you think sit down to watch BBC shows as they're being broadcast? I bet it's not any anymore. Everyone's on their phones or their tablets watching a cheeky bit of Netflix, aren't they? If you're 16 to 24 anyway, or I do. During 2019, the corporation also lost its place as the media provider that youngsters aged 6 to 15 spent most time with. While licence fee subscribers continue to dwindle, with sales falling by nearly half a million in the past two years, MPs said. When given evidence to us, the BBC appeared complacent and unconcerned by the declining time that people spent using its services, or the fact that around 200,000 new households each year choose to opt out of paying for the TV licence, the MPs said. Like I said before, the BBC just don't care. They're going to get their free money. They don't care. They don't want to work for it. They don't want to create good stuff. They don't want to engage with audiences. They don't want to innovate and they don't want to move forward. They just want their free money. They, they don't want to do fuck all for it. The 18-page report also said the BBC's plan to make up revenue through commercial sales was unambitious. Commercial returns represent less than 6% of the income the BBC gets from the licence fee, with the broadcaster aiming to increase that by 30% over five years. I have a very simple idea for you, BBC, of how you can increase your commercial revenue massively in one easy step. Convert iPlayer into a fully-fledged streaming service a la Netflix. Make your BBC stuff and all your period dramas that all the Americans and all the foreigners love. Open it up to a worldwide subscription service for what? Five, six, seven ninety nine a month. Let it go in America, let it go all around the world and you will make a lot more money. Done. Easy peasy. Done it for you. Done it for you. Make me Director General of the bloody BBC. I'll turn the place around. I'll shut it down as well. You know what I mean. The BBC has enjoyed a truly unique position of privilege and trust. It should have been capitalising on the cosy buffer of its guaranteed income from taxpayers. Moving bits of this titanic organisation around the country, reorganising the debt shares, won't cut it in the face of intense and rapidly changing global competition. The BBC needs to radically re-engineer its offer. I said this before, and I'll keep saying it until it happens or my channel gets deleted or whatever. Okay. The BBC need to change to a streaming service and sell their services around the world a la Netflix. They can keep a broadcast channel, so they can keep their news channel and keep, just say, BBC One. And they can show repeats and whatever on there and they can have that with adverts and product placement and make money that way. But if you want to watch the latest stuff, you want to watch tonight's EastEnders, you're going to have to pay for the streaming service. And then all their problems are solved. No one's being forced or feeling forced to pay for a license fee. The BBC get more money, which is what they're after, isn't it? And they've got more incentive to make better stuff. It's win, 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 isn't it? That's what the BBC need to do. That's the only way they're gonna move forward. If they don't move forward and keep up with the competition, they're gonna go. They're gonna go, which I'd be happy with. Anyway, but you know, if I'm if I can watch them like for free on the telly without having to pay a TV license, I probably would dial in every now and then. But I'm not going to pay a TV license to watch them. I certainly wouldn't pay for the iPlayer subscription because I've got enough bloody subscriptions anyway. 
But Americans love British telly. Australians love British telly. All around the world, they love British telly. The BBC's iPlayer subscription service would sell. I'm telling you, Tim, call me. Tim, call me. We'll talk about it. A response from the BBC said, We do not feel that this report reflects the evidence or the facts provided to the committee. There is no complacency at the BBC. We have taken great pains to stress, including to this committee, that the jeopardy for the BBC is high. We have also explained very clearly how the challenges we face are directly driving our strategy to deliver more value to all audiences. That's a lie. That is a lie, BBC. You're not trying to deliver more value to all audiences because you came out publicly last week and you said that you are no longer making programmes aimed specifically at anyone over the age of, I think it was 36, wasn't it? You're only focusing all your new programme creation on 16 to 36 year olds. So how are you trying to deliver more value to all audiences? You are liars, BBC, liars. I think they forget what they've said in last week's press statement when they're asked other questions or it's a different person, they haven't read the notes or the minutes of anything, you know. The messages are mixed, isn't it? It's, they're always doing it. They're liars, liars. As the National Audit Office report notes, the BBC is the UK's most used media brand, reaching over 90% of adults on average per week and 80% of 16 to 34 year olds. Do you believe that? I'm sure it has the ability to reach over 90% of adults, but do 90% of adults weekly use BBC services? I guess it's possible. I guess it's possible. 80% of 16 to 34 year olds doesn't seem Bang on, though, using BBC services every week. I don't see that. It pays tribute to the new initiatives we have introduced to capitalise on the opportunities of the new marketplace, most recently with BBC Sounds and improvements to iPlayer. We are the most trusted source of news in the country. Uh, yeah. You can't even read that sentence with a straight face, can you? We are the most trusted source of news in the country. I just automatically laugh when I read something like that now. We believe the case for the BBC remains compelling, but we know we must earn the right to exist through the value we provide. Well, sooner or later, you're going to have to start providing the value or you will cease to exist, BBC. Hey, now what did you think of this video? Let me know in the comments below. I do read all your comments. I can't reply to them all because, you know, I get a lot. But I do my best to read them all. And uh, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already, bang the subscribe button to keep up with my latest videos. And speaking of my latest videos, I'll see you in one of them soon. Thanks for watching.